no plans, no plans at all. Evil man's always transcending. Fight her like sheep, swallow everything. Always simple tins or pretending. We got no plans. This is your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net. You'll hear your presidential candidates blabber on about a lot of things during this campaign. Hell, Ohio alone has seen roughly 115,000 political commercials in 2012 so far, and it appears the only effect it's had is that the sales of feminine products have shot through the roof due to so many ads for douchebags. So you'll hear them talk about a lot of stuff, but you know one thing you won't hear them mention? Corn. That's right, corn. Before 1979, corn was used for little more than corn cob pipes and bad jokes. But nowadays, you don't see a corn cob pipe unless you're friends with a banjo player or, or, a, or a scarecrow does your taxes. So the corn lobby convinced the government to subsidize corn. And it's now to the tune of between 10 and $30 billion per year. More than wheat, rice, and soy combined. Corn is now in three out of four products that you buy at the grocery store. Think about that. You grab a soda, you're eating corn. You enjoy some yogurt, you're eating corn. You, you, you get dried fruit, it's sweetened with corn. A chicken nugget has 37 ingredients in it, 30 of which made from eggplant. Uh, I'm sorry, corn. Corn, it's, it, it, it's, it's made from corn. Which begs the question, why are we still calling it a chicken nugget? It should be called a corn nugget with a hint of chicken. But who am I kidding? We've had our heads up our asses about food names for a long time. Hot dogs don't have any dogs in them, and, and, and hamburgers don't have any ham in them. Although, hot dogs probably have a li little bit of dog. Just, just a little bit. Then there's high fructose corn syrup, which finds itself in more food than Kirstie Alley after a breakup. Since it was introduced, obesity rates in this country have tripled. Corn syrup has also been proven to affect cog, 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 cognitive abilities, of, 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 of cognitive abilities, and, and, and soda companies keep using it because it's 20% cheaper than sugar. At least that's why they say they use it. I think they use it because they know they need dumb as candy corn customers in order to convince them to keep buying and drinking a liquid that is known to f*** up their cognitive liberties. Abilities. And finally, there's ethanol, a fuel made from corn that is far less efficient than gasoline and causes more global warming emissions. The best part is that over the course of one year, we take enough corn to feed 412 million people for a year and we turn it into ethanol. How sick is that? So I've got a better idea. Let's take those people who were gonna starve to death during the course of that year anyway and turn them into the fuel that powers our cars. I mean, human oil is the wave of the future. We don't give a about those people starving, but you know what we do give a about? Cheap gasoline. And to think, all those years ago, the settlers thought the Native Americans gave them corn as a gift. Turns out it was a 500-year-long plan to make them fat, dumb, and polluted. That's been your Moment of Clarity from LeeCamp.net. I got most of the facts for this episode from LearnStuff.com. You can check it out yourself. Also, if you enjoyed this episode, please forward it, share it, and donate what you believe it was worth at LeeCamp.net. Thanks a lot. Keep fighting. No plans at all. Evil man's always transcending. Fight her like sheep. Swallow everything. Always simple tins or pretend.